So Rory and David were talking about Bougainville um, early this year in April uh, 2012. We, you had a, um, a phone call or a text, something changed with your relationship with Bougainville. What, what, what happened? Yeah, I got a, a text, Andrew, and it was about Dave, it was from the leaders up there, and uh, they text me for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, um, but asking me what I thought about Dave being adopted as a tribal member in Bougainville, which is a, a really big thing because it's not just about a tribal thing. Right. Uh, constitutionally, you actually have full citizenship rights. So it's a pretty big deal. So. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's what happened, and so we together went up there um, for this adoption ceremony. So you were invited by the people of Bougainville, or, or as a, from a tribal perspective, from a, clan, yeah. from a clan's perspective, yeah. to be a part of that clan. Yeah. Yeah. And so was that a special? Um, that would that would have to have been a very special honour uh, from the perspective of a Bougainvillean to have a white skin yeah. become a part of their clan. Yeah, yeah. It well, really when we got that text, when Rory got the text, we um, sort of did a, a bit of a backflip, really, because wow. um, you know, up to that point, there'd been still a um, a little uneasiness mm. there because we did have an incident that you know sort of made a bit of tension there. Right. But we had put that right uh, with them. And we um, we felt that that had, that was um, now okay, you know. And uh, but I think that that incident was something that talked to not um, not the guy that was actually asking us, but to the whole clan. Wow! Yeah. Because they said after the incident that we would not come back. Wow! And so there was we there went. was definitely a roadblocks. Um, that we're trying to obstruct the relationship. Oh, without yes, a doubt. Yeah. Without but a doubt. but yeah. now there's been repair, there's been restoration, and mm. now this amazing it's, it's honour. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It really is. It's really because phenomenal. Yeah. It's no small thing. It's no small thing. It's not like they do it every day. Yeah. And it gives uh, gives Dave, well, both of us, but it gives Dave in particular a lot of clout with the men there to be able to influence what happens in the nation. Wow. And uh, it, it gives him the rights. You know, it actually gives land rights, and wow. he can he can give them advice wow. on, and things like mining and teach them some stuff. So, very key. And I think when when I've heard from you, your experiences prior to your relationship over these past 12 years with Bougainville, going back in time, you were missionaries in Papua New Guinea mm. for yeah. 10 years. Right. Yes. And um, how did that? Would you have ever dreamt or thought that, you know, in those years looking forward to this day that you would ever become uh, a, a citizen or not even a citizen, but you're given the full rights of... Yeah. Yeah. No, not really, because it, um, I guess when the question's asked, you know, a lot of people say, why, why do you want to come to Bougainville and be a citizen? We want to go to Australia and be citizens. Wow. Um, because, you know, they realise that they don't you know they don't have the luxuries and the things that we have um, so yeah it was a it was something that really surprised me um, you know well, I'd worked hard honor. it was it a was great honor. honor and Dave had mm. Dave had earned the right if if you can earn the right of adoption yeah. I know it's not a right that you earn yes. it's it's a grace it's that's bestowed. given to you yes. it's bestowed yeah. upon you but um, we just had this amazing adoption ceremony Wow. Uh, earlier this year, and it was very, very emotional, very heart touching, mm. and uh, wow. um, it it really does change. I learned a bit about adoption. Um, you know, when the Bible talks about being adopted as sons, we just think yeah. it's a nice little cliche. Yeah. Yeah. But in actual fact, adoption changes some significant things in your life. Uh, it actually changes your name, for one. So now I have a different name when I'm up there. Wow. And, and then secondly, it, it changes your relationship with them. Wow. Uh, and thirdly, it changes your inheritance. So yeah. there's a lot of similarities between what happened to us in Bougainville okay. and uh, the adoption that's spoken of in the Bible. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Pretty yeah. cool. That's, that's <laughs> incredible. It is incredible, really. Um, and, uh, you know, who knows where that's going to lead. But it was very interesting when we 
when we went to the ceremony, um, you know, we didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. And, you know, bottom line, I'm not a sort of particularly emotional guy. I'm a practical guy. And um, when we left, we got in the car to leave, we both commented down the road a little bit. We felt like we'd left part of our heart there. Yeah. Um, because the people, they just, yeah, they called us different names, um, like uncle and auntie and um, brother and yeah. uh, that type of thing, which, you know, I wasn't really expecting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was quite a difference when That's we actually incredible. drove out of the place yeah, from previous times. Yeah. So now that you've had a change of status within uh, the island of Bougainville, and it's on a very interesting journey, very strategic in the Pacific, uh, yeah. place yeah. in the Pacific Mind. right now. It's a major resource um, with, with mining and minerals, but the people, the, the people of Bougainville carry uh, something very unique and special. How do you see your, uh, the status that you've now been given? How, where, to from, where to from here? What's, what's next from your perspective for, for Bougainville? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question, Andrew, because um, we're feeling now like part of Bougainville. I know a couple of times when uh, I sent a text, because it's very easy to communicate via text, and I found myself putting um, we in the text rather than you or I. Mm. Um, and so even subconsciously, it's it sort of changed the the way of communicating and um, so that question that you're talking about is uh, mm. something that we're not sure yet how that will um, mm. pan out in the long run but you know we mm. feel now like more like brothers and it gives me a right to come alongside them and to give them um, speak peace you know to to help them and see how what we can do to help them to come into um, independence yeah because that's a big thing on their big question on their mind yeah. at this point mm. the journey ahead the journey it's a ahead. journey ahead a big yeah. one yeah yeah which will need a lot of other helpers a lot of our yeah. friends there are actually very influential, very significant people uh, politically and mm. um, so it, it's going to take a skill to be able to walk alongside them uh, knowing our place but not mm. overstepping the mark mm. and be yeah. able to influence the policy makers and the government in a way that's going to lead towards peace and prosperity for the future. Mm. So we're excited about that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the Lord says, ask of me and I will give you a nation, mm. and, you know, and it's a bit like that. Um, there's, a, there's a nation. There's a nation it's about, a, it's, it's in, wants to be born here, yeah. 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 And so we feel that it's a privilege to be able to have some part in that. Mm. Yeah, it's great. Mm. Thank you for sharing, Rory and David. It's, uh, it's amazing. Pleasure. Pleasure. Mm.